A judge has ordered the Cobb County Sheriff's Office to release records related to inmates who have died at its detention center. Now, the order is in response to a lawsuit 11 Alive filed against Sheriff Neil Warren. So this lawsuit here, it alleges that the sheriff violated the Open Records Act by withholding public documents by manufacturing a bogus investigation to conceal those records. Andy Parati explains why 11 Alive requested those documents. The records involved two inmates who died at the county jail more than a year ago. 11 Alive requested those documents in August. The sheriff said no because a private attorney was conducting an independent investigation into their deaths. During a hearing earlier this week, we've learned that wasn't exactly true. In the sheriff's department. This is the man currently conducting an extensive review of the Cobb County Detention Center, private attorney Nathan Wade. My mission was to conduct an assessment and review on cases involving neglect slash death at the jail, use of force at the jail, and racial discrimination. In June, Cobb County Sheriff Neil Warren asked Wade to do it after a series of deaths at the jail. Five months into his work, he had little to share with 11 Alive attorney Derek Bauer when asked where his assessment stands Monday afternoon. So you do not have a single record in your possession that's associated with the review and assessment that you've been engaged to undertake? I do not. Is your law firm? Possess no. any records? No, sir. Wade says he's reviewing five years worth of jail deaths free of charge. He claims he's reviewed hundreds of documents involving at least 12 inmate fatalities so far, which included re interviewing deputies. But he did not have a single note or record to share. As your review and assessment for the Cobb County Sheriff's Office stands today, you have no work product whatsoever associated with that undertaking, correct? Oh, I have work product. It's just not uh, in the form of documents, communications, or record memorializing, reflecting evidence, or relating to the work, um, as you've put it here. Okay, well, what work product do you have? Well, I, I have, obviously, my my brainchild, my, what's going on in my mind about it. Um, that's what I have. You heard that right. The work he's produced over the past 123 days, all in his brain. And when he did use paper to document his findings, he threw it away. Got done with it, destroyed it, and walked out. Okay, so when you did take notes, you destroyed them when you were finished with the interview? Yes, they're in the sheriff's department. Two of those MA deaths include Reginald Wilson and Bradley Emery. Both of their case files closed last year. But when 11 Alive asked for their records in August, the county attorney wrote, Sheriff Warren requested an independent law firm investigate circumstances surrounding the MA deaths. That would be Mr. Wade. And that state law allowed the agency to withhold records until the conclusion of his investigation. There's just one problem. Wade admits he's not doing a criminal investigation at all. Whatever it is, it is not a criminal investigation, correct? That's correct. 11 Alive filed a lawsuit against Sheriff Warren in September, claiming he was violating state law by withholding public jail records and that Wade's investigation is illusionary in an effort to shield thousands of public and potentially damaging records from disclosure in an election year. Sheriff Warren is running for re-election in November. Wednesday afternoon, Cobb County Superior Court Judge Gregory Poole ordered the sheriff to release the records to 11 Alive. Now, Andy, the sheriff originally denied providing any records for these two inmates following a, a scathing investigation that you produced about the detention center just before, right? Ron, that's correct. In August, our review investigative team uncovered 2019 video of an inmate named Cavell Wingo, seen begging for medical help and complaining that he could not breathe for hours. Instead of sending him to the hospital, jail staff put him in a padded room where he died. The sheriff continued to provide jail death records, but stopped after we published our investigation into Wingo's death. Today's ruling is a big win for the public's right to know. Now we're hoping the sheriff produces the documents the court has ordered him to do so. We reached out to Sheriff Warren, but did not hear back.